Hey guys, okay, this is super impromptu. I am actually about to edit another video for this channel, but I really felt it in my heart to go ahead and share some things with you guys. So I've been dealing with some things. Um, I've been dealing with um, some things that are kind of showing itself and that may be um, hiding in the deep layers of my heart. Um, some things that have a lot to do with um, my past experiences, um, as far as my divorce, um, maybe the neglect and the um, rejection I experienced as a child, um, in pr previous relationships with men, friends. Um, I, if you would have asked me last week how I was doing, I would say I was doing great, I was doing fine. Um, but today I have to be really honest, quite honest, and say that I'm not, I'm not. Um, I have some inner things, inner heart issues, inner healing that I have to go through. And the reason why I wanted to go ahead and share this is because on my videos, on my channel, I don't really discuss those types of things, mainly because I didn't know they existed. I thought I was healed and I was done. Um, I was fine. Everything's fine. My marriage is fine. My relationships are, are cool. My children are fine. But there is this thing that I know is in my heart. Um, maybe even a few things that may be in my heart that um, I'm experiencing triggers. And these triggers are um, creating friction in my mind. And because they're creating friction in my mind, they're creating friction in my relationships. And my husband can say something or do something that is super duper innocent, but it's a trigger. And it's a thing that makes me feel some type of way. It's a thing that I begin to play in my head why he said that. And the enemy starts to say, oh, it's because of this and it's because of that. And most of those becauses are rooted in what I experienced in my divorce and my previous marriage, what I experienced in my relationship with my mother and my father. And through the Holy Spirit, he has shown me and, th and I thank God for the church that I go to because um, my church is a huge advocate for inner healing and deliverance. And it wasn't until now I'm realizing that there are things that are just hidden, hidden, and they, they lie dormant and they don't show it to show themselves until something else comes up. Something else says, triggers it. There's something that makes you feel some type of way. And before you know it, now there's friction in areas of your life that it wasn't. Now there's drama. Now there's sadness, depression trying to come over you. And so I kind of wanted to just come on really quickly and share the fact that we have to really, really, really be careful and aware of our heart condition and allow God to show us when there might be something there that we don't know about. And inner healing is crucial, crucial to our growth as believers, our growth as children of God. We have to be healed inward in order for us to do anything for him. And so I'm going to go ahead and link down below some sermons and things that my pastor has provided for us that I'm going to be personally using in this season of my life. Um, inner healing is, like I said, is definitely one of those. I've already gone through a session before uh, of inner healing with the ministers at my church. Um, but I think that there are some things that I might have not explored in that session that I think I need to. And so I just wanted to, again, like do this video just to be really clear and real with you guys because I don't want my channel to be fluff. I don't want it to be to look like all is well and all is well all the time because that's not the case. All is well, not all the time. All is well is all is well most of the time, but not all the time. And so I just wanted to share that with you because I don't know and I 
And I know for sure that I am not the only one dealing with it. I spoke to a sister of mine from church today and we're dealing with something so similar. And I believe that that's most of us. I believe that there's, that's most of us dealing with some inward inward issues and they're, they're lying dormant for a while until something triggers them, something brings them up. So I encourage you to listen to the sermons. It's going to give you insight on some things that most churches do not talk about. And not only does it give you insight, but it gives you resources, how to be healed, how to walk in uh, dominion over those things, how to push through those hard, dark seasons. And so I pray for you guys often. I thank the Lord for you. I thank the Lord for this journey that we're going on together. And I hope this video helps you in some way. If it does, go ahead and share. And I hope that they use the links as well. Love you, bye.